guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're walking into this little space for the first time, I'm Priyanka and I make videos about everything. So this video is not a complaints but if in just in case if many of you don't know, my mom was visiting from India and I love some of the products by Biotech and Himalaya and Parachute. So I was not getting it over here. So I asked my mom to get a couple of things from back home. So this just saves money and it's actually cheap in India and the products are of fantastic quality. What happened was that I gave a huge order on Nika and there was this sale going on, I believe. So when I gave an order and when the order arrived, the first thing was that each product arrived in a different box. Now the problem that comes on this entire zone is that when you order something, either you provide it in one shot or maybe you can at least segregate some of the products in just like two boxes. Now coming on to the context of the video, as the title suggests, I do feel that Nika as a company is lagging behind and there are some points that, you know, they can consider from the audience or their Instagram followers in general and improve their services because I do feel that they're not doing the best thing right now. And I do understand like they are, you know, giving out to huge volumes and everything, but so is Sephora and so are a lot of brands like Ulta, Alta, I'm not sure how to say it, but even they are doing it and they are doing it in a way more sustainable fashion than Nika is doing it. So as I was saying that I got each product in a different box, even for like a lipstick, there was a different box for the shampoo, there was a different box. And for me, it is not environmentally friendly at all. In general, I've seen that Amazon, Ikea, everyone has replaced their shopping and packaging services. So I believe that even Nika can do it. I mean, it's I think it's a billion dollar evaluation company right now so a little more sustainability in their approach won't kill them and even if they have not started doing something then they need to because not only women empowerment is necessary but even touching on issues like climate change is very necessary for a company right now. The thing I feel that Nika can improve is their shade range so when they come out with a lot of BB creams or in general like uh, the lipsticks and everything for the lipsticks i do feel that there are a lot of pinks and reds and maroons and indian skin tones i personally feel that it carry out brown really beautifully like even when i see my mom and all my other mature relatives and everyone they carry out brown a lot way more better than they can carry out reds so i personally feel that you know coming out with a more uh, nude and different tones of lipsticks will help you guys and the second thing I feel that you need to be more diverse with your skin products like five BB creams are not enough to cover the beautiful shade India has and I personally feel that in your office itself there are so many different skin tones complexions uh, undertones and a lot of skin textures so to match that out you can just take your office as a prototype and come out with more shade range because I do feel that you need to be a little more diverse and versatile in your approach and that's it. The second issue I have with Nika is that they usually come out with a lot of lip products. Like there are two types of lip balms, there are three types of matte lipsticks. One is a creamy matte, now there is a powder matte, then there are glosses. And there is actually a lot and I'm not denying that quality is not good. The quality is pretty amazing for the price actually. For the price. Actually it does try out my lips. So it is pretty amazing for the price but the thing is that I do feel that the recent Masaba collection I felt that it was copied from the Sephora lipstick collection. Regular uh, the matte lipsticks, matte me lipsticks or something. I do feel that the packaging is very similar to Nars Auda Audacious packaging. So again uh, being a brand so huge I do feel that you need to be really original with your designs. You really need to come up with some good designers if you don't have them already and try to you know be more original and creative with it so yeah thing i want to say is that i know you guys have like a huge volume but uh being a person in business analytics and supply chain management and inventory management risk pooling uh it's better to you know hire some good people who are good with inventory management because you guys have a huge delay time when it comes to delivering products so i usually get the shampoo on monday then the conditioner i get it on like friday and that too in different boxes so that is not sustainable and b it is very frustrating for a customer in general there was a time when i did not get the product and i was still charged for it and they were like the product is over so can we send you another product and i was like no i want that product that's why you know i bought it from the sale otherwise i would have got the same thing 
from a shop. So it's like a muddled up thing. Thank you much for watching this video guys and I do hope that they get to see this video someday and they are more sustainable about their approach and more diverse in their shade range and yeah that's it. I do know it's like a women driven company. I support them but obviously they are not completely there yet and I do feel that if they take suggestions from all the Instagram followers and in general other people I do feel that they can improve and be the best company ever.